A while ago I've done a video on Titanfall 2 and I really enjoyed Titanfall 2 and it really fell off and it was the developer's fault, let's be honest here. However, that being said, it's recently had this weird resurgence that's going on and I can't explain why, uh, but I played that for a bit and it was really good. However, in terms of games that I play often that are old, there's one game that I always go back to. It's called Ring of Elysium. Now for everyone who is out of the loop, Ring of Elysium was essentially a battle royale game. Now I absolutely hate battle royales, so when I was first told about it I was like, nah, not for me, I'm out, don't worry. It was also pitched to me as Chinese battle royale, Chinese PUBG, and you know, I was like, why, why would I want that on my computer? Like, <laughs> you know. One of the bigger ones was when people, oh yeah, it's owned by Tencent. Oh yeah, yeah, just, just, the Tencent casually just dropping that name in there. So I installed the game and <laughs> yeah, um, I really enjoyed the game and I hate battle royales. And yeah, the, the game definitely had its gimmick, what we say, but it was an enjoyable gimmick and everybody loved it. And as of December 1st, the game is going end of life. It's just being terminated. We're pulling the plug, it's gonna flatline. To be fair, it's been flatlining in a while, mind you. Um, there's currently 92 people playing the game right now. Um, granted, it is 1.39 in the morning in the UK, but, you know, uh, I think that's like uh, nearly 10 a.m. in China, correct me if I'm wrong, someone? So, I, I, you know, you might want to know, what killed this game? Well, uh, I've done some digging, done a little look, and I can tell you what killed the game. The developers. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get uh, your hats off and put on some tinfoil hats, because this may sound conspiracy theory, but trust me, it's very much true. So, whilst we were playing the game, the map was called Mount Dion, or Dion, I can't quite say. I would say Dion. Now, this map was amazing, because it was a snowy map. And you might think, oh, well, what's got to do with that? Well, here's the thing. Everyone, and I mean everyone, is some anime-ass looking character because that's what the skins were. There was the custom skin and the anime people, and the game was populated with weebs. So everybody stood out like a sore thumb in the pure white background. For traversal, yeah, you can have cars. Um, there was also a grappling hook and snowballs and you just like whipped these things out your ass and went. It was great and of course you're on a ski slope so you're going down. Also unlike most battle royales, instead of having a circle that constantly gets tighter and tighter and tighter where you're forced to duke it out, no no no. Ring of Elysium looked at the map and went put a line here, put a line here, 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 here and it basically just cut the map up and then it was like okay you have about six minutes to get out of the flashing blue zone into the not flashing zone. And if you weren't out of the flashing zone at that point, it just became damage ticks. It was like the circle goes from 100 to 0 instantly, and you are either in it or you're out of it. Now, the skill ceiling was also fairly low, so it was basically the skill floor, because, you know, all the weapons were essentially the same. It was a free-to-play game, so like, regardless of what weapon you used, it mainly boiled down to how good was your aim, how well did you know the gun's mechanic, and did you fire first? Now, rather than it being your standard battle royale fare as well, we use all duke it out. No, uh, during the final point, a helicopter would come and it had four seats available. This meant that if in the final zone there were four groups left, one person from every zone, you know, one person from every group could arguably escape. That was never the case, of course, but it was a possibility. It always came down to Who's willing to rush that ladder first? You know, there'd be smoke grenades coming out, there'd be the snipers hiding by the trees, people running the outskirts, and someone always booked it. I was the guy that ran directly for it, it was great. Now, it also had some excellent features. For example, in the middle of the map was a mountain, and if you had time, you could go to the top of that mountain. Now, there was nothing inherently special about the top of the mountain, apart from the fact that, like, you know, you could shoot everyone and see everything, and it was very hard for people to hit you at the top of a mountain. Now I think I started playing it around about Christmas as well, so one of like, the funnier things I found was when people died, like in PUBG they die and became a backpack or something and you look at that. This one, and then, and then, they died and became huge turkeys. That was just funny. So yeah, what would happen, you'd pick a loadout, you, you came in with a pistol, a, a bandage and like two mags of bullets and you just 
found weapons, found armor, found healing, found attachments, and duked it out. It was the best battle royale game I have ever played in my life. Now, when I say the devs killed it, understand, the snow map was amazing. Everybody loved it. It was beautiful, perfect, and by all accounts, you can see where they were going with this one. The second map they brought in was called Europa Island. Now, that definitely took a few hints from European cities and European countries, of course. There was like all the coastal towns looked like Santorini, for example, and it was great. I just remember I was sitting playing at run about this time last year, and I'm like, you know what I want to go? I want to go to Greece. And I, I booked a holiday to Greece because this game made me want to go to Greece. But what happened? Well, Europa Island was a, a warm climate, you know. Everything in it was very much this sunshine, lollipop, seafaring, and all this good stuff. So, snowboards were replaced with BMXs and hand gliders, and instead of snow, it was a, it was basically the ash is what they called it. There was a volcano somewhere that was erupting. The problem is it wasn't very fun. In fact, it was, it was downright boring because the terrain was uneven in weird ways. It wasn't like uneven like snowbanks. No, there was a lot of climbing and such. Firefights were just impossibly boring because of it. Yeah, there were a few fun little bits. Like there, was a, there was a whole theme park in the area and some skate parks and such, as well as a huge observatory university and such. And there's even like some old Greek looking ruins or Roman looking ruins. It was great for that stuff. Like, there were interesting areas, but the stuff between the interesting areas was boring. Now here's the thing, and you, you can see this on Steam charts if you zoom it all the way out. So, December 2018, uh, January 2019, if you do your digging, that's actually when the game kind of apparently left Early Access. I don't actually recall it being in Early Access, but apparently it left it. And round about June, July is when they actually drop Europa Island. They talk about it previously, and like, oh yeah, this new highly anticipated Europa Island. But like between January and February alone, it goes from 58,000 to 37,000. Now, I can't find a reason why in the patch notes. They, they just updated it. They like done a patch note and boom, people left. In December 2018, they gained 74.86% of all their players. In December, they had an average of 27,000 players. By July, they were down to 6,000. The patch notes don't tell us why, they just were patching things. And when I say patching things, I mean like, they were just balancing weapons and such. There were patches upon patches upon patches. Maybe that's the reason why people stopped. Another one that I'm seeing, however, is the absolute discontent for the new map. Now, there's a ton of people, you can go on at the subreddit if it still exists, I'll be posting some stuff. Um, yeah, people really wanted Dion back, and the whole time, the whole time, the developers were like, we're listening to the community. Well, clearly they weren't. Clearly they weren't. What's worse, in most battle royales, like say if you look at PUBG, for example, we're gonna use PUBG as the main example here. If you look at PUBG, you get the option to pick the map you play upon. This is not the case here with my Ring of Elysium. You're just kind of subject to the map of their whims, and nine times out of ten, it's Europa. No one really wants Europa. It keeps coming up, and apparently there's people voting for it. However, at the same time, in the subreddit, everyone's screaming, who's voting for this? We don't want it. Now, there were some cool additions added, granted. Um, they added, like, a P9A. They added a few new sniper rifles. They made it so that you could mainly, majority only ever get tier 3 armour from the drops, making the drops a lot more viable. They, they also added RPGs, which I don't know how well that went, but RPGs were a thing for a while. <laughs> but in the end, the the people yearned, the, the children yearned for Mount Dion. <laughs> and it, it fell upon deaf ears. And now, if you, well, uh, currently, uh, by the time this video is up, you won't be able to, but now, if you play, you are playing against bots, because when they couldn't fill a lobby all the way, they put bots in. And in early game, when you're trying to get the drop on people, you know, you, you, you really wouldn't notice. In late game, if there were a bot around, you'd notice. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's simple to show, you can see it. Like... Their movement is almost erratic, but also, like, you can stand in front of them and they won't shoot you for, like, a good 30 seconds. Where 
losing this absolutely amazing game. I honestly myself, I loved this game. Uh, I only have like a hundred odd hours or so, but you know, for a game where each round lasts twenty minutes and it is a fun, quick twenty minutes. There's there's no fucking around. There's no jumping to the spot. There's no waiting for everyone and like you pick a spot. You see where everyone else is going to pick a spot as well, and you can pick with them by all means. You can take a fight immediately, or you can play it safe, but that is a quick 20 minutes, and by the time you're done, you, you just want to jump straight back in, and you can, and you could, and it was great. I'm going to miss Ring of Elysium, and I, I do hope that we get something similar, or like some community thing, like North Star, but it's, it's highly unlikely. And so, with it, there we guess we... Sadly, close the book on Ring of Elysium and <sighs> we say goodbye to another great game. Yeah, um, that's it for me. Uh, do hope you've enjoyed and maybe I will see you again soon with some more game stuff. Uh, there's some stuff on the website. Uh, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I will catch you all very soon. I'll get some stuff to do for Robocop now.